You know, we've been talking about cicadas ah, um, <laughs> and this impending swarm, right? They're going to be here, but it takes a certain mix of weather, it sounds yes. like, for them to come out from the ground. I know, it's so gross it's to me. It's so crazy. You know, I was doing my research on, on what we have ahead of us, and it's, <laughs> okay. it's so gross. Tom. Ahead, look at this 50,000 to 1.5 million per acre is going to be possible. So when we're talking about how loud it's going to be, it's, it's going to be loud, but it's also going to be really gross. So let's oh. dive in and uh, yeah, we'll start talking about just what we're waiting for here. So the cicadas, they're actually waiting for something that's very particular. It comes down to the soil temperature. So the typical timing for cicadas to emerge is typically mid to late May or into early June. So again, they're waiting for a certain soil temperature and usually at eight inches deep, once that soil temperature reaches about 64 degrees, they start to work their way out. But guess what? We're not even close. Yes, we have warmer weather in the forecast for this upcoming weekend. Yes, we're talking about high temperatures pretty close to 80 degrees on Sunday, but at eight inches deep, our soil temperatures are still only at 47 degrees, so we still have a while. What this map is showing us, if you can see all these little dots here, we have a yellow shaded dot that's right over the Chicagoland area. And if you look at the key, that's putting us in June as to when we typically see 64 degree ground temperatures at eight inches deep. So we have a while, even with the nice warmer temperatures in store for us this weekend, it's still likely not going to happen until very late May or early June when we finally start to warm up the soil at eight inches deep. So the radar right now, things are quiet. It's a beautiful night out there. We have temperatures for a lot of us that are still in the 50s, and then eventually we're going to be dropping down into the 40s, 42 degrees for the overnight low, and we're going to have west northwesterly winds only about 10 to 20 miles per hour. And then throughout the daytime hours of tomorrow, it's really not going to be quite as breezy as where we have been. Take a look at our five-day forecast, an absolutely stunning weekend ahead of us. We're going to be close to 70 degrees tomorrow, lots of sunshine. And then on Sunday, 77 degrees, that's actually going to occur right around midday, early afternoon. And then all lakefront locations are very quickly going to be dropping through the 60s into the 50s because of a backdoor cold front coming in off of the lake. We're still dry on Monday, but showers and storms return Tuesday and Wednesday, and some of those could be strong or severe. Don and Scott. Breathing a sigh of relief on the cicada countdown. <laughs> Thank you. All right. A